5.30 in the morning and this is what I look like when I actually wake up and my hair looks like this. Uh, I'm feeding the cats and then I'm gonna exercise and then I thought we could hang out for the day. So before I do anything for the day, I usually exercise. I used to go to the gym, but it cost too much money. It was like $25 a week because I live in the city. And so I've canceled my gym membership and I have weights that I, oh, I just hit the camera with them. I have weights that I use at home and you can hear my neighbor being loud already. Um, but I just exercise for like 45 minutes to an hour at home lifting weights and doing push-ups and doing cardio on my phone and listening to 1970s funk music because that's what I like to work out to so thought I'd show you some of my exercise I've never really shown myself exercising before so it's a little uncomfortable but hey we're moving past these things now right we're gonna do some jazzercise that'll keep you fit and smiling sugar swing that arm there you go your stuff. That's good. today because I have to get my beloved record player fixed. It's from the 1970s, it was my pops, Richards, and I love him dearly. It's the only thing I have of his to remember him by, so it's not just a record player, it's really important to me. And so we're going into the middle of nowhere to some factories where a guy's gonna restore this so it doesn't run slow anymore. So let's catch some public transport holding a record player! That's gonna be fun. <laughs> thought I was on the wrong train and so I got off at the zoo in the middle of nowhere the literal stop for the zoo here in Melbourne and I'm just sitting here in the rain with my record player like a cool dude and now I have to get back on the train because it turns out it was the right train and I'm already over this an uber back to the station i walked and then i found a random tram so i hopped on it and i was hoping it would take me home and it nearly did but then it went past an off shop that i love and so i got off and we're gonna go off shopping And I'm gonna get lunch at one of my favorite places to eat, but I never get to eat here because Liam hates it. Absolutely hates it. This is a taste like gunk, uh, but it's tofu curry and it's crispy tofu and it's delicious. And I really recommend it, even if Liam hates it. I'm home. It's nearly one o'clock. And I'm absolutely stuffed. That took all morning. That was not the plan. Uh, but I got there in the end. I got so lost. But after all that, that was so nice. So they're going to fix it. It's going to take about a week. I'm finally home. I didn't get much at the op shop. I just got that Street Fighter VHS that you saw. The cats are having their lunch. And I'm going to sit and relax and watch this movie I hired. Frogs. I know nothing about it other than it's about killer frogs. And as we all know, I like any movie that's a killer animal, killer, you know, amphibians, killer bugs, anything like that. So that's my afternoon, and then hopefully Liam will be home in the next hour or so. And maybe we'll be going to the movies tonight, which will be good. But uh, in the meantime, it's time for frogs. Good afternoon. I fell asleep. 
sleep watching frogs and I never finish it but Lynn's home from work and we try and a new coffee place. I'll put my tiny place. coffee. Look. It's like I'm not drinking anything at all. It's a it's a piccolo what? latte. Is that a uh, is that a magic and we're trick? at a new we're, I'm trying to tell them information. Sorry. We're at a new cafe called the Alley Edition and trying their coffee. It's really good. It's really strong. Nice and strong. Oh, that is strong. So now we're gonna go shopping and there's a Marvel exhibition that's free up at City Central. So we're gonna What's go up there. Trick? The Marvel Superheroes Journey of Heroes exhibition in Melbourne Central. And I want to take you guys here, and I'm really excited. And look, my favorite's here already. And yes, I dressed accordingly. I got changed. I'm in my Marvel shirt, and I got my Jubilee jacket. Oh my gosh, look, an old Patsy Walker cover, also known as Hellcat. You guys know that. And this is Australian artist Ben Temple Smith. Now that was dirty lady. Do you like how Foxtel is advertising Stranger Things? <laughs> like, oh, join Foxtel! Oh, it's for like 60 bucks a month minimum for Stranger Things when you can just get them. So Liam's ranting about Stranger Things, it's 5 o'clock and we decided it's a really good time to purchase cheap pizza. So for 30 bucks, Domino's actually has good vegan pizza now. Uh, and we're going to wander through the fancy shops carrying our pizza, being city people. Because it's Cut a lot through. easier to cut through shops to get your pizza home safely than walk down the street. So there's a tip for anyone living in the city. City living. Parts are five o'clock dinner because I'm a grandma. Hey time, it's back with hat time. Back with look how big your head is compared to you. <laughs> no, leave it on, leave it on. Okay, yeah, could you let it me? Okay, we're watching Pulp Fiction. I've never seen this movie before. Yes, that's crazy, I know. Uh but we watched half it yesterday and then we fell asleep. So it was late. 10 30 is late for me. But um anywho, watching the second half of Pulp Fiction. But before you go, I wanted to show you this cool shirt known as Dizzy Little Liddy Li Di Dizzy Little Dotty on Instagram that I got at the exhibition. Look at this. It's a it's a piece of art uh, of the Savage She-Hulk issue number one, my only CGC comic, which is not very exciting for people that don't know comics, but that's a CGC comic I have, and I love it. And She-Hulk is my favorite combo character of all time, and I'm just so happy to have this beautiful, beautiful shirt. I got it in extra large, so I can wear it like a dress, and so there's more image to see. I'm so happy with this purchase. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Pickle, did you enjoy your dinner? You can't see Pickle, it's irrelevant. Bye, I'll see you soon, and have a nice